as that is going to really kind of take the pressure off of uh, Jay Sean Jackson. Carson Steele in the backfield. Play action on first down and dropped way back at the 10 yard line is Plitt. And a sack right out of the gate. Georgia State front seven is really good at getting to the quarterback. One of the best in the country. And this is a matchup. Jamil Muhammad with the sack. And on the swing pass out in the flats. Get some of that sack yardage back. Yeah, Ball State injuries on the offensive line this year have been significant. Four or five starters from the opening game out for this contest across the middle. That'll move the six. Head to the 41, the grab made by Trevor Holt, and the stop by Lane. Starting at one school, maybe ending up at two different schools. Mm -hmm. He stayed in Muncie and has done a great job leading this Ball State program. Steel rumbles off right tackle for another first gain in a plus territory. Here's Nathan Snyder as Dixon drops back deep. And the end over end punt. Fielded cleanly at the four. And a nice job by the Ball State special teams. This is where they want to live. Third and manageable where you as a defense don't know they're going to throw it or run it. So on third and short, play action. Granger a couple of pump fakes and then it's going to be tackled. He's going to lose a yard, maybe two. Pass option, which they've done pretty well. You see him, he's reading that outside backer. And the problem is, is he's got press outside. I think it'll be a low scoring, kind of big puncher, big boxer fight all the way through four quarters. Plitt's going to throw one deep, looking for Jackson, who hauls it in. And that'll be a Ball State touchdown. Just like that, the Cardinals on the board from 56 yards out. And what a missile, a strike delivered from Drew Plitt. Talked about it earlier, without Justin Hall, who is going to be able to take the top off the coverage? And Jackson is that guy. They've put a lot on him. He looks forward to seeing it. Play action wide open. Touchdown, Payne. Aubrey Payne, third reception on that drive alone from 18 yards out. They sneak Payne. There he is lined up off the hip of the right guard. And he goes out and acts like he's going to block, and he just slips off the middle of the field. Thinking back in the day in Georgia, they had a similar kind of list of plays for Hudson Mason back in the day. Oh, play dropped it, and it's picked up by Georgia State. And the Panthers off and running. Javon Dennis, the scoop and the score. Well, Muhammad forced the fumble. Plitt just kind of dropped it, and Dennis quickly cashes in from 37 yards out. See here, Plitt going to feel some of that inside pressure from the right side. Does a good job kind of evading it. Ball does not mean that he is down, right? I mean, that's elbow, knee. We, you don't see this a lot when quarterbacks are kind of going down. They naturally try to go put the football down, and he just loses it. You know, obviously, you, you, it's a teachable moment, and you'd like to teach him, hey, if you feel like you're going down. But, it, you know, to Blitz, <laughs> he's just trying to make a play, right? I yeah. mean, he, he's trying to stay up. Nate Fuqua, you better f figure out where Jay Sean Jackson is. Third down and five, wide open on the wheel is Carson Steele, and that will move the chains. Now Drew Plitt found his running back, the freshman, wide open in a gain of 25. After a six-yard pickup, option play, Granger picks up the first down and a lot more. Surfs his way across the 40. Inside zone, Granger can run it to perfection. Panthers have won six of their last seven. Another option play. There goes Granger. Granger in the plus territory. Darren Granger makes another man miss. Finally stopped short of the 10. And a big play for Georgia State. Give him 49 yards on that one. Back option, and that's where they become so tough to defend, right? Getting Granger's legs out in space. Ball State has two on two there. Clayton Call right there. The defender, linebacker, just couldn't wrap up. And from just inside the right hash, Ruiz will bang that one straight through. Jacob Lewis on for a 34-yard field goal attempt just inside the left hash. And field goal is good. There is a penalty marker down. Another chip shot field goal from 27 yards out. And Ruiz, who's been perfect today, continues. So it's become a field goal kicking contest. Good season for Lewis, a sophomore out of Delaware, Ohio. Sends it on the way, and it is just good. Third down and short, and you wonder if Sean Elliott's already thinking about going for it on fourth down if they pick up a yard or two here. Doesn't matter, Williams straight ahead. Jamias Williams 
keeps the legs journey. And brought down at the 10. Danger, you can see Jalen Thomas scrape over the top. When he takes that wide angle, he's really responsible for the quarterback's leg to hand it off. First down and goal. Granger keeps it to the end zone. Pass will be caught for another Georgia State touchdown. Robert Lewis, first touchdown of his career for the Panthers. And this one comes from 10 yards out. To his non-dominant side, he gets those shoulders, gets those hips around, and is able to drop a dime in there. Stronger in the weight program, but they have got really good quality offensive linemen where beforehand, Georgia State wasn't able to get those guys. There's the speed for Greg. Dives across the 40. And a gain of 14. Cosby with the stop, but not before he moved the chains again. Granger could pull this here. That allows Tucker Gregg to get to the perimeter. And when you turn on the tape and you watch all the different riding. Sophomore out of Columbus, Georgia, just down the road. Granger's going to keep it. Boy, he had his tight end again. This time he does not pitch it. Granger off to the races for the touchdown. Well, that's what speed and athleticism will do for you at Georgia State. And he's got plenty of both. I mean, this is football witchcraft. Where's the ball? Who's it going to? Granger pulls it, and it's a house call for the Panthers. Largest lead of the day. But so many times Granger comes to run and sometimes pick up more yards by running himself. Granger with all night to throw and has Payne again, and it's caught. First down for Georgia State. Payne tripped up inside the 20. What a day for Aubrey Payne, right? He runs his wheel route right up the sideline and thrashed the receiver kind of Takes the corner and the safety with him. That's why Payne is so wide open. And you know, he came into this game and said, okay, Ball State can kind of slow down or stop the run. Which one of these you know, perimeter players in the pass game is going to step up? And Aubrey Payne's been that guy. Granger, guess who? Aubrey Payne, second touchdown of the game. At the wheel, watch this, just that small little play action. That's what happens when you've got a successful run game. Those linebackers have to honor that run fake. And you see the 1-1000, one, 2-1000, one thousand, one thousand, gives off the illusion that he's about to block you. And I mean, I, I don't envy the job that these linebackers have, right, for Ball State. And a long ways to go after the penalty. There's Carson Steele straight ahead. Tried to leapfrog that defender. And nearly did it. He eventually came down with a tackle. Yeah, this is almost the second time today. Car Carson Steele running through the hole. And it translates here up to the booth. Plit, plenty of time, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Lane. There he goes. Georgia State to the house. Let's see here. Plit is trying to find this option route right over the middle. And the ball ricochets right into the hands of Lane. It looked like Ja'Cory Crawford got his hands on it, tipped it, fell right into the breadbasket of Antavius Lane, and he takes it to the house. McCoy and Pinckney and even Thrash, their top three receivers, never on the field all simultaneously. Granger wants to throw it, and he will, and it's caught by Robert Lewis. So Robert Lewis had caught nine passes, checked out eight passes all season before tonight. Can grab so far in this one. The first one went for a touchdown. Yeah, but watch Granger thread this needle on this throw. Get it up, get Woo. it down. And under duress, bangs that one straight through. What a season for the senior from Wilson, North Carolina. Vicious hits, the vicious type of plays over the middle where guys are getting decleated you know, where they've got to miss time. I, I totally agree. There's the, there's the type of hits over the middle where players are vulnerable and they're defenseless. I don't know that what we've seen the last 365 days you know, kind of answers the calling there. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to manufacture enough points. He's lined up to the bottom of your screen. There he is. Well called, my friend. Jackson spins his way inside the five for a first down. Twelfth catch. He's had a great day. And at the beginning of the, uh, of the game, we thought, okay, who's going to replace Justin Hall? And he's gone over and beyond what we thought he could be. Think Jay Sean Jackson. Now fourth and seven, he picked up 17. Good toss from Plitt as well. Back to the air. And off the pump fake. And Plitt will be brought down back at the nine. All smiles for Sean Elliott and Georgia State. 51 to 20, the final score in Montgomery. Here at the Taxac Camellia Bowl. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.